Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me, and welcome to all the new people that have subscribed. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. You have an earthquake swarm going on there in Salinas County in the Bay Area. 13 earthquakes so far in the last 24 hours. I often talk about how an earthquake can be a foreshock for something much larger. And there was a magnitude 4.0 that started it all at 5.15 p.m. local time. 353 people said that they did feel that earthquake. And you can see here we got spreading and a shake alert was sent out. Patterson, Modesto, San Jose, and San Francisco all got the shake alert. That was followed by a 2.1, a 3.5, a 1.6, and then the largest so far has been a magnitude 4.5. That was, these are all fairly shallow, 2.2 um, miles in depth. That occurred at 9.13 p.m. 2,866 people said they felt it. And once again, a shake alert was sent out. Also, the same area, San Francisco, Modesto, Patterson and San Jose. USGS gave, gave it an intensity level of 5, which means there would have been some light damage. Did you have damage? Let me know. It says it was felt by most people. Some breakage of dishes, windows, maybe cracks in your wall, plaster, foundation. Yeah, check those uh, water and gas lines. And to those that reported it, it felt like maybe a 3.5 to a magnitude 4. Here's the area of the felt reports. For some reason, EMSC isn't uh, posting what people are sending into them. I don't know if it's a glitch in their program or what. Uh, let's see. Um, across the Bay Area. Um, close to Mill Valley, it looks like. Yeah, we got an intensity level there of 5. And then closer to where the earthquake occurred, intensity level 5. Let's bring this out. Let me close that. Yeah, it was felt over a very wide area. Let's see. The further, oh, Eureka. They felt it. One response intensity level. Uh, McKinleyville up there by uh, Eureka. Also, no, they're not given a location. Um, a little northwest of Reno. Let's bring this down. Okay, we got it close to San Diego. Uh, Long Beach, Santa Barbara, Oxnard. Um, let's see. Yeah, they're not giving the names there. Um, that would be Anaheim, Los Angeles area. Yeah, it was felt over a very large area. I did get one monitor. Lord, there was a lot of monitors that are not working in the Bay Area that would download. Um, this one is really a long ways from where the earthquakes occurred. Uh, we do have uh, one, two, three, maybe uh, four marked in red, five marked in red. Going to Google Earth, here's the location of the earthquakes swarm down here on the um, bottom right. The monitor that I did find that did work is all the way up here by Walnut Creek. Let's see how many miles that is. Um, oh, about 50, close to 56 miles. Maybe a little bit farther. So it's quite a ways. Yeah, they got a lot of monitors, but they're not working. Or at least I cannot access the data. Here is the uh, larger ones. The one marked in red here, that's the four shock right there. And then there's that 4.5. And this is um, just the ones that are magnitude um, 2.5 or greater. And then over here we have Patterson, uh, Diablo Grande. That's probably the closest to the area right along the interstate of 130 
It could be related, which is kind of scary, um, to the Greenville Fault, which this it, this is all part of the San Andreas Fault. But more concerning is if the energy transferred west towards the uh, Hayward Fault, which I believe, is that it right there? No, that's the Calaveras Fault. Okay. And then this would be the... Hayward fault, yeah. yeah. As you know, um, yeah, they're overdue for a very large earthquake. Here you can see how the fault actually moved west. Yeah, this is um, a thrust earthquake where it rose up. Yeah, we got spreading. Yeah. Now this is the moment tensor ball for the magnitude 4.5. And this is the moment tensor ball for the magnitude 4.0. So here on Twitter, is the first earthquake I believe um, this 3.9 they upgraded to a 4.0 and I wanted to see if there was anything posted um, okay they said they felt it in Stockton this one said they felt it in Tracy um, Wesley they said popped okay all right for the 4.5 they upgraded it from a 4.4 and this is the shake alert that's posted on Twitter. And let's see, felt it in Santa Clara. There's always a smart ass too. Here we got one that says San Andreas Fault. I've seen better. Another one is asking if it's four shocks. Well, you just don't know. Um, look at Wesley. It is in between some minor faults. Interesting. They have been rumbling down at um oh highway um felt that one a little in the lathrop area um surprisingly felt in san francisco um felt it in sequoia uh felt like something bumping our couch at home in hollister felt it in merced uh Felt it in Gustine. Okay, another one says definitely felt it in Patterson. Came in a wave with strong jolt in the middle of it. Bed shaking, walls cracking, and windows vibrating. Dogs barking outside. Slight nudge in Santa Clara. Another one asking, are these four shocks? Another report says felt once again in Modesto. Um, another one says busy day. Yeah, it is. The most recent that's showing up on red here is a magnitude 3.13 at 10.22 universal time. That would have been at 3.21 uh, a.m. local time. They gave it an intensity level of 4. And once again, you can see, yeah, the fault line moved going west. And it actually dropped down a little bit towards the south uh, felt reports let's see by Roseville um, Santa Cruz it looked like it looks like um, Las Banas so they did not fudge about that earthquake and then the next one that shows up like I said this monitor is a long ways away would be this one here at 525 universal i come up with a magnitude 3.22 usgs is saying it's a 3.2 um, there's one thing very interesting about this earthquake you can see here right at the end of it another one quickly started right there um that one yeah that's a slow moving tremor a creep yeah, so it's still moving. Let me come over here a little bit and see what it possibly could be. All right, let me move this back. That comes in as a magnitude 2.27 at 528 universal. So that would be at um, 10.28 p.m. last night. They're saying it's a magnitude 2.0. But I get a magnitude 2.27. Okay. 
that's not marked in red then the next one would be that one right there at 441 universal I get a magnitude 3.15 not all the earthquakes are are showing up on here but they are on there again 3.15 they are saying it is a magnitude 3.2 it very well could be so anyways this little one right here yeah slow moving tremor let me see if I can make it bigger yeah a lot of popping going on here um 309 yeah let's go to the spectrogram yeah they're gonna the smaller ones are just gonna show up as a little blip here let's see right there let's see what else I can see here yeah there's a lot of them yeah another one there another one there yeah it's still rattling slow moving tremors I talked about that with my uh Yellowstone video yeah let's close this out see we got other little ones here we got that one and that one yeah there's a lot more earthquakes going on than just 13 of them see that yeah look at that let me make that bigger yeah you can see all these small ones too prior to that uh 4.0 lots of them going on here look at that see that yeah we got tension that's built up in this area you do still have a chance of having a larger earthquake so you should be aware of that and be prepared yeah have a plan so yeah be prepared don't want anyone to get hurt from a larger earthquake things falling on you brick masonry uh, bookshelves refrigerators yeah so yeah thank you very much for watching thank you for subscribing please stay safe they're saying now you should have at least two weeks of food and water stocked up for any type of disaster uh, myself I try and stock up for about a year and I'll talk to you later God bless y'all bye <music>